Well, hello guys. This is the Betamax Man here. So this is uh, part two of the Sony SLHF 400 that we're working on. Now we've got the cassette deck, the cassette housing apart. And uh, I'm taking a look at the gears and stuff and I thought there might be a hairline crack in the um, one of the gears, loading gears. And uh, come to find out that the problem is actually down here on the bottom. There's a chunk of plastic that broke off and is missing down there. And uh, that is the cause of the problem because it's basically uh, jumping out of... It's, it's basically flopping out like that. It just pops out out of place uh, because it's no longer the bottom is no longer being held uh, because there's plastic that is basically sheared off so that is causing the worm gear to pop out of its socket and uh, then what happens then well then it jumps a tooth and then half of the loading uh, housing the cassette the carriage uh, the basket rather the basket actually because this pops out and it jumps a tooth or two and causing the basket to go back up crooked so one side is moving farther than the other side. And that's why when I was ejecting the tape, you'd see the tape would be coming out crooked at an angle. So it's basically just popping right out of its socket. So we can put this in. So, if I maneuver the basket in the forward position, see how it pops out? So, it's pumping out of place. So, because of this issue, I was trying to show you how to... Just trying to show you how it's popping out of place, but see? See how it wants to pop out? Yeah, that's why. So we've got our donor part here. This is our donor part, and uh, I'm just going to replace this whole uh, side of the housing here. So the whole right side is just going to be swapped out i'm going to swap it out so uh that's what's wrong with cassette housing and so i'm going to swap this out um i was taking a look at the gears here i pulled the gears completely out and i took a look at them and it took me about an hour but i finally figured out what was going on and that is that this this is what holds the worm gear in place and basically like I said because there's a chunk of plastic broke off missing from that area it's causing that to pop out and it jumps a tooth or two and then the cassette housing kind of goes out at an angle one side is farther advanced than the other so I'm going to get this put back together and then, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what was going on with this thing and what was happening and why it was happening. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, me and the Betamax Kitty uh, are going to change the part out that we need and uh, we're going to put it back into the into the uh, 400 down there 
and uh, that that should uh, fix the cassette housing, and uh, that should be uh, we'll, we'll be good to go. So guys, uh, I've got the tape here. We're gonna try it out, and uh, we've swapped out the part, and uh, as you can see, this is the old part. And this is the new one. I just changed the uh, side out. <clears throat> now, this one's different. You can tell it's different by you look at the where the tooth belt connects to it, and you can see that it's different. This one actually, the plastic covers the uh, tooth belt. And on this one, the tooth belt is exposed. So, it is a little different. There were two different designs as far as um, the cassette housing for the 7-11B chassis goes. Now, another change that the other one had, I think, was the, uh, the plate was different, you know. But um, the plate and this part was a little different but uh we got it powered on i got it all put back together and uh yeah it was just that worm gear that was popping out and uh causing uh the one side to uh start to come in when the other side was doing nothing so that was causing it to get crooked it was not jumping a tooth like I thought it was but what it was doing is because that worm gear was popping out of place it was allowing the one side to move faster than the other side and of course it's supposed to move evenly on each side each side is supposed to move at the same time and it wasn't just because of that worm gear popping out of place like that so but I replaced the black chassis piece and the cover is different because on the other one the cover is screws in with screws and the other cover the one that I have here is, is it snaps into place and it's got mounting tabs, so let's just see what's going on here. We'll see if we did any kind of, see if we fixed it, or do I need to just swap out the cassette deck with another one? But I didn't want to swap out the deck. I wanted to actually show what was wrong with the cassette housing and actually do a repair. But it doesn't seem to like, that is weird. So there's still something going on because, um, wow, that's weird. Why isn't it, uh, well, it's not even accepting the, the tape at all. Okay, so uh, I figured out uh, uh, the issue, so I've changed the plate out, and uh, I think... There's a tad bit of difference in the plate, and because the plate is designed to keep these plastic pieces in perfect alignment during the loading and unloading procedures, and it was just different enough to where it was causing the machine not to work. So now you'll notice that we also now have the power light is now um, there as well. So I fixed that and uh, we've got the cassette housing repaired. The power supply works, but I suspect that the wire that come unplugged on me when I was working on the power supply, I might have put it into the wrong place. 
causing the um, machine to blank out the video signal while it's in uh, fast forward or rewind and it does have a rewind problem because when you hit rewind it wants to fast forward so there is something going on with the uh, circuit board on the front which I'll figure that out later uh, this machine is got some quirks that I gotta work out of it but I think for right now as far as uh, the machine working um, without any assistance it works like it should except for the rewind is not working now I wonder if I do it with the remote if the remote will because if we use the remote and it'll rewind with the remote then we know that there's a problem with the circuit board on the front but now it goes in play there's no more grinding noises you'll also notice that the, the grinding noises have stopped we'll go ahead and eject it hit eject we'll stop it and then eject there is no more grinding Now if we hit stop, rewind, as you can see it's going forward, not in the reverse. It's supposed to go forward, not rewind. So rewind ain't working. Let's try the remote and see if the remote will allow it to work backwards. And it does. See, using the remote. I'm using the remote, rewind, and it rewinds, but when I hit rewind on the machine, it's wanting to go for, oh, there it goes, okay, now it's starting to work. Now it's not. So, with the remote... Now it's uh, quit rewinding all together. So we still got a couple of issues, but I'm going to take a break from this machine. Um, you know, this machine is not quite re It's not ready to sell yet. You know, I still have, I still need to do cleaning on this thing. I still need to do a, a full restoration, but I don't want to do a restoration until... I get the the repair done when we repair it then um, I'll do the restoration on it and then it'll, it will be uh, put up for sale on eBay now see now it's doing fast forward again now let's hit the rewind and it rewinds with the remote and it pass forwards it yeah there's a system control there's something going on with the front the circuit board on the front and I wasn't gonna look at that right now I just I'm taking a break from this one but at least now it works um, and it's no longer uh, grinding And the tape is now coming back out evenly. And uh, for right now, what I'm going to do is uh, we'll just hook it up to the TV. And uh, we'll make sure that we got a, a picture. And uh, we'll uh, call this... Uh, good for 
right now. Um, I'm gonna, you know, quit working on it, I think, because I've already spent the whole weekend uh, messing around with this thing, getting the power supply fixed. And okay, guys, uh, she's back together. She's working. Um, yeah, we still have a problem with the uh, rewind. Um, and we do have a problem with the video uh, blanking when the uh, machine is in picture search. So, um, and I was thinking that maybe that wire that I put in, maybe it's not going into the right spot because the wire came unplugged. So maybe it's not going in the right spot, I don't know. But I think what I want to do is go online and see if there's a service manual for this machine because I want to find out why is it blanking out when we're in picture search. Now we can go to the tuner. Let's see if that does any... No, it's still blanked. So I'm not sure what's causing it. You know, um, MPX filter on or off. PCM. But that doesn't have anything to do with what we're trying to find out as to why it's blanking the signal in fast forward. That is kind of weird. I've uh, never had that problem before, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, what I'm going to do, I just got in the other machine, and uh, I've been working on this, and I should have went out and checked the porch, because if I would have went out and checked my porch, I would have seen the package laying on my porch, because my SL5, SLH500 has just come in. So, what I'd like to do is take a look at that. We'll do an unboxing video on that. Um, for right now with this machine, I'm going to take a break from it. Um, and I'd like to get a service manual for this one. And trace and find out why the signal is being blanked when it's in picture search. Because it should go into picture search when you hit fast forward. And when you do, it, it blanks. It shouldn't do that. That should not be happening. Um, so then I'm not quite sure what's going on with it. But uh, we'll figure that out later. But at least for now, um, it is a working machine. It, it does work. So, um, and the tape is now loading and unloading correctly so we do got this machine working um do we have it working 100 percent no because we're getting the problem with the picture search it's blanking the video signal so a service manual is going to be the only way that i can determine what the issue is um, now, it's about midnight right now, so we're going to do an unboxing video, and uh, we're going to take a look at that, and we'll see what's wrong with that one. Uh, but at least for right now, this one, I can put it on the back burner for a little while until I can get a service manual, take a look at it. Uh, I also got to upload the video I just finished working on the um one of the uh, machines oh the uh slhf r30 i just got done working on that one and i got that one working too so uh that one is working 100 percent. this one is working but it's not working 100 percent. so we're gonna have to figure that out and uh We'll see you in the next video. So that'll be the end of uh, this video uh, for this machine. Uh, and we'll come back to it at a later date.